So a dual language teacher emailed a fantastic question to me that I want to make sure that I answer. How important is the superintendent to dual language program implementation that is successful and that best serves emergent bilingual and multilingual students in that school district? The answer is extremely important because if the superintendent doesn't own dual language fully, if he, she, they doesn't model by literacy instructional practices, then it becomes very difficult to actually scale those by literacy instructional practices that will move the dual language program implementation forward. Now, I'll tell you a little bit of chisme. I actually left the principalship um, in large part because of the superintendents that we got. Um, we had had a very strong superintendent for a long time. Dual language program implementation was going well. The former superintendent was not bilingual and biliterate, but fully supported by literacy instructional practices. Um, we got a new superintendent and they, I'm gonna use they instead of he or she, they um, were the children, they were the child of migrant farm workers. They were bilingual and biliterate, had pretty traumatic experience as a student who didn't language English when they entered the schooling system in the U.S. And so I thought, oh my God, like this person is going to be exactly what we need because they understand um, the students that we serve. But unfortunately, it was quite the opposite because they had been quickly transitioned to English. They decided that if that worked for them, then that's what would work best for our students. And so we saw um, them really publicly acknowledging and supporting dual language programming, but their actions were actually quite destructive to the program. And to this day, I don't think that that dual language program really has fully recovered um, from that impact, that negative impact. And so in much the same way, one of the things that I would ask myself is, if I'm in a dual language district, does the superintendent surround himself, herself, themselves with folks that actually buy into and have the mindset that supports dual language programming? Because um, if you'll go back to the Medina Monday message from last week, if there is no system at the district level that actually um, promotes and uh, infuses dual language programming into everything that happens in that just that school district, it becomes really, really difficult. If that chief academic officer never talks about my literacy instructional practices, if um, the executive directors, if the people that mentor and supervise principals don't actually hold one another accountable for dual language programming, that is all directly linked to the superintendent because whoever he, she, they bring into their team, that is a direct representation of whether they are truly supporting by literacy instruction. And a lot of folks will say out loud and in community meetings that they are all about dual language programming, but what are their actions demonstrate in terms of hiring, um, stipends, resources, teacher certification conversations, all of those things really tell the story and the narrative of whether a superintendent truly believes and supports dual language programming. I hope this helps.